Hey, what's happening, Storm Chasers? Welcome in to the first episode of a mini-series here on the channel that we are going to be calling Minecraft University. In this series, I want to teach you guys some of what I've learned along the way, things that I wish that I knew, starting out. And the first thing I'm going to try to teach you is how to survive the first night. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create us a new world and I'm just going to name it Minecraft University just so I don't get confused with the other handful of saves on here. I always play on hard mode simply because ironically hard mode is actually easier. There are certain benefits and features that are in the hard mode difficulty that are not available in easy and it allows you access to things that greatly enhance and benefit your game. We're going to allow cheats. You say, Weasel, I don't intend to cheat. This is a survival world. Why would you do that? Well, the answer is quite simple. Mistakes happen. <laughs> Sometimes the game glitches. You never know. And so I want to be able to fix it if the situation arises. We are going to go into the game rules and we are going to change one thing only. We will go down and we will find world updates to fire tick off. Now I do think that it is something slightly different. I have a texture pack that changes all of this to the actual commands that you would enter. And so it may look slightly different but it will be the second one under world updates. So make sure that it is turned off, click done, more world options, make sure that everything is set the way that we want. You can use the bonus chest if you want to, but I have no intentions of doing that. We're going to leave the seed random. I will put the seed that it generates down in the description below, so that if you want to play in the same world that I am playing in, you are more than welcome to do so. That way you can follow along. And we are just going to click create new world and wait for everything to get pulled up and ready to go. And a short moment later, it is loading up the train. All right, let's take a first look around at our world. We don't want to waste a whole lot of time, but we are in an acacia. Let me turn off that resource pack as a matter of fact. That way it will look the same as yours. So, okay, there we go. Now everything looks exactly the same. So we're in the savannah biome from the looks of it. Let's just go ahead and start chopping down trees first of all. So in order to survive the first night, there are two things you will need. The first that you will need is shelter. The second you will need is food. So in order to get shelter, we will need logs. So we'll just chop down maybe a couple of trees at most here. Uh, typically I use a data pack in my worlds that makes the leaves despawn faster. But because I want this to be a vanilla world with the exception of that fire tick, I decided not to put it in here. So if you guys want to install it in your world, you're more than welcome to do so. I think it is something that really makes the game a little bit easier to do, simply because then you're not having to stand around and wait for all these leaves to decay if you are farming trees. And anytime you're chopping down trees, you notice I'm struggling here. Don't, don't leave floating trees around, okay? No one likes a UFO. <laughs> You say, Weasel, I believe in aliens, I like UFOs. Okay, well that's your business. You can you can take that up with me in the comments section down below. But, otherwise, take these trees out. We're going to chop these down, and then we're going to get us a crafting bench made up, and start getting things ready to go. So the crafting table is set down, and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to convert all these acacia planks to logs, and we're going to convert about half of them to sticks here. We will need that here in just a moment. We will make us a, a wooden pickaxe. It's going to be the only wooden tool that we actually make. There's no point in making much else besides that, simply because we're going to be replacing it here in a couple minutes. Now there are some sheep right here, so we actually will need to make us a wooden sword as well, because this will enable us to actually have an advantage when it comes to the nighttime, we will not necessarily have to survive the night. So we will uh, remove these sheep from existence. 
with a quick couple hits of our sword. Now, uh, please, if if you're disturbed by graphic content, do not observe the next few seconds as I slaughter these other couple of sheep. Come back here. Don't be running away from me. He knows what's coming. <laughs> okay, so after that disturbing material, we're going to take a moment, put down our crafting table, and we're going to craft us up a bed. You will need three planks, three pieces of wood, or three pieces of wood? Three pieces of wool. Yeah, that's what comes out of a sheep, weasel. Not wood, wool. Wrong letter at the end. <laughs> okay, so we will also, as I said, we will also need food. So we got four mutton from the sheep. You can go ahead and slaughter these other sheep and the pigs, other passive mobs that you find around. And that will give you a decent amount of food for the early game here as we get things set up. Also, you want to try to go through and break some of the grass as you're going from the different mobs. You notice we picked up some seeds and we're going to use those to create us a wheat farm here in just a few minutes. So we're going to finish getting this and truthfully, all you have to do is survive the first night now that you've got a bed. If you're fortunate enough to find yourself in this position, just put down the bed, right click on it, and it will allow you to sleep away the night. However, we're going to assume that you did not follow the seed and that you are in a much worse position. You have no way of getting shelter inside of a cave or something like this or of being able to make a bed. So I'm going to take the time to get us some stone. We will need approximately 27 stone, I believe it is. This will allow us to make a full set of tools and a furnace. So I'm going to gather that up real quick and come back. So with the 27 cobblestone now collected, we are currently about halfway through the day from the looks of the sun. And so we are going to go ahead and craft up our other tools. If you ever need the recipe for something, you can click on this book here and click that crafting table. And if you're able to craft it with the supplies that you have in your inventory, it will appear on this left hand side. So we're going to go ahead and get this that full set of stone tools. Okay, so I went a bit overkill. I said 27, which is what I collected. Apparently it's only 17. My bad. <laughs> but we need to find us some coal next because this will allow us to create a little bit of shelter so we're going to take this last bit of daylight here and work our way into this cave see if we can get a little bit of coal and unfortunately as we start our way down here we have a zombie coming up to greet us just try to stay out of farm's reach especially as he's burning there's some water right up there to where you can always go and jump in but if you don't have to it's a lot easier and there's some exposed coal right over here. There's some there, but it's going to be kind of hard to reach. So we are going to go for the coal that I saw right here. Gather as much as you can in as short of a time as you can. You don't want to be in here too long and have to end up fighting with a bunch of mobs to collect pieces that may fall to the floor. So I'm going to mine out this short little vein Looks like there's just a couple more pieces here. So I'll just keep the audio running, keep the video running rather. Okay. And I think that fell down into the abyss. Let me take a look. Not too bad. Okay. So we're going to get back out of this cave and we're going to try to get us just a little bit of stuff because we're almost out of daylight. So in order to survive the first night, you need food, which we have, and you need shelter. So we are going to get us just a little bit of uh, dirt here and build us a dirt house. And I was expecting this to mine quickly because I'm used to efficiency five. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have it on here for a moment. And it's a, it's a little bit different when you don't have it. <laughs> you get used to it, you get spoiled. So I'm gonna mine out just this real quick layer of dirt and come back to you. Okay, so we got us some dirt almost a full stack that should be enough and what you can do as well is use the terrain around you to your benefit and just kind of carve out just a little bit more and then you can build into the side of a hill or something like this 
to where you don't have to fill every block. So we're just, oops, we're just gonna build us a small little area right like this and bring it across to make us a small house. Make sure that you do yourself a favor and put a roof on it, otherwise mobs will simply jump down in there and then they're going to punch you in the face and it will not be fun. So just, you see how I'm just covering it up? Do yourself a favor before you completely cover it. Take a stick and some coal and put down inside, otherwise, once again, you are going to get punched in the face and it will not be fun. <laughs> once you've got that finished, we need to block it off. You can either, A, you can sit in the door like that, or you can put down the crafting table and create you a door, which is what we are going to do fairly quickly before the sun sets. I like having my crafting table in my doorway just so that I do not have to hunt for it. So let's make us a quick oak door. And one of the things you can do, because they like to attack doors and try to break them open, However, they think that this is currently closed. They can, of course, walk right past it, but they see it as closed. Now they see it as open, they won't try to attack it. Put it on the side of your block, and then you're all set to survive your first night. Put down the furnace and stick your coal in it, and then stick whatever food you've collected, and you can start burning that, and you're all set to survive your first night in relative comfort. So until next time, remember there's a storm coming, Weasel Storm, and I'll see you with another episode of this very soon.